An extract from Letters from the Wound. I carry within myself both the wound and the new seed. The beater touches the skin of the drum. Time, as we know it, stops. Fragments of story as autumn leaves dance in the wind and find a place to rest on Mother Earth. As words, thoughts, prayers decide to land on the blank page, creating a pattern amongst the chaos. Who writes? The heart? The soul? The moon? The ocean? The sun? The spirits? I am but a channel. Fill me with love. Fill me with space. Give me open arms. The smell of coffee gently awakens the senses. My book is born from the hips. It is born from all the aching wombs, from all the joyful wombs, from mine and my sisters. It is born from neither here nor there. It is born from the wound. It is born from the crack. It is born from the seed of hope and the watering of gratitude. It is born from the rivers, from the seas, from the oceans, and from the endless spirals of destiny. It is born from the courage of commitment, the strength of faithfulness, and the embrace of flow and change. My book is born from the belief in magic and miracles. Experiences are neither good nor bad. They simply shapeshift us into who we are. Scattered words, photographs and songs as a testimony, a mirror, a reflection of what is, a journey home, back, way back to source, way back to the essence. An attempt to embrace the infinity and mystery of what is, presence, full presence, thoughts, words, prayers, planted as seeds, eager to tell their own story, scattered as ashes, ready to release and free that same old story. Yesterday, I dreamt of a tomorrow. Today, I remember my dream. The seeds of my vision were planted long before I was given eyes. It is time to water the plants of my own love revolution.